Hey everyone, welcome to Ticker. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to best use the Ticker terminal. Now we built Ticker to empower individuals to make better investing decisions. We felt that it was unfair how large institutions could afford to pay $20,000 plus a year for a Bloomberg terminal while the rest of us were stuck using Yahoo Finance. And so we built a powerful investment research platform with coverage of 100,000 plus stocks globally. We have a lot of detailed financial data, estimates, valuation metrics, transcripts, filings, ownership, news, and more. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to access all of that information. So when you log in, this is the page that you'll see. And on the left here is our navigation bar. So currently we're in the market news tab. And on the market news tab on the top here is the refer friends to ticker.com box. If you share this link with any of your friends, they'll be able to set up an account on ticker. Now down below here is the market news section. So if you click on these headlines, it'll pop up the entire article that you can read. And if you click these bubbles, it'll take you to the stocks that are relevant to the article that you're reading. Now again, coming to the navigation bar, it's split into two main sections idea generation. So these are tools that will help you find potentially interesting ideas and fundamental analysis. So these are tools that will help you actually research those stocks. So starting with the idea generation part of the navigation bar here, my watch list is the first section here. So if you click on my watch list, it'll take you to this page. So these are the watch lists that you can construct and add your, you know, your own interesting tickers to these watch lists. You can click on add ticker to easily add any stocks to your watch list. The other really helpful thing here is that we automatically create a news feed for the stocks on your watch list. So if you click on upcoming events, it'll show the upcoming events for the stocks on your watch list. News will show the relevant news for again, the stocks on your watch list. Significant developments, so these are more important news developments for the stocks on your watch list, company filings, and transcripts. So again, coming back to idea generation, the next feature is track investing gurus. This is actually one of my favorite features on the ticker terminal. So you can see here we have split it into four sections, growth at a reasonable price, value, aggressive growth, and other investing strategies. So these are some of the top investing firms around the world. If you click on any of these links, it'll actually show you the holdings of these investors. Now, the amazing thing is not only do we track 13F filings, so the holdings that are disclosed in the US, we actually also track international filings, so Japan filings here, shareholder reports, 13Ds and more. So this is a fairly holistic overview of the actual holdings of these investors. So again, these are the holdings of Berkshire Hathaway. You can potentially find interesting ideas for your own portfolio from some of these top investors. You can also search through here to find other investing gurus beyond just the gurus that we have in these lists here. So again, we have you know, just a number of, of investors that you can easily explore here. The next feature is our powerful global screener. So we actually have made a separate video on our global screener. So I would definitely encourage you to check that video out. Um, but again, here is our global screener. So here I've put in a variety of different filters. You can click the plus sign to add, you know, any filters that you want to the screener. We have a ton of different metrics. And once you've done that, you can click fetch screen. So that will then pull up the actual businesses that fit the criteria that you put in. So you can see for this screen, 900 plus companies showed up you know, below here. So again, another great way to find potentially interesting ideas. And again, this is a global screener, so you can look for international companies as well. So the next one over now is fundamental analysis. So let's go to company overview. So the default company here is Google, but you know you can again use the search bar above to find other interesting stocks that you want to explore and do deeper research on like Nintendo, for example. But let's just go back to Google here to keep it simple. So this is the company overview page. You know, here we have a stock chart, some helpful metrics, and then a description of the business. The next tab over is news. So again, on the left-hand side, this is more real-time news. On the right hand side is significant development. So these are published less frequently, 
but they're more important developments for the company. The next tab over is financials. So here you can drag this little dot on the timeline to increase the amount of data in the table below. You can change it to quarterly data, semi-annual, you can change the display units, decimals, so on and so forth. But you can see here we have the income statement, the balance sheet, cash flow statement, and ratio. So just a ton of data. And the other really helpful thing here is if you click on any of the rows in the uh, table, it'll automatically create this beautiful chart. So you can easily visualize any of the data. Another helpful thing here is to collapse the left navigation bar to more easily view the data on your screen. So again, moving over to the balance sheet, cash flow statement, and ratios. We have a bunch of different ratios that you can explore as well. So the next tab over is valuation. So here we have a bunch of forward multiples, trailing multiples, and a number of other kind of factors that you can explore as well. So for Google, the price to earnings or the PE multiple is probably most relevant. So we can chart that very easily look at the history of that multiple over time. You can actually add other stocks to compare to Google. So if you wanted to add Facebook, for example, we can compare their multiples very easily in this chart as well. So again, we're looking at multiples currently. You can look at street targets to see the, the price targets that Wall Street sell side analysts have put together for Google. You can look at you know, interesting competitors to explore as well. So there's a lot of helpful information in this valuation tab. The next tab now is estimates. So this is data that we've compiled from Wall Street sell side analysts. And so we have the historical data. This is a, a actual reported data. And then we have the estimates. So this is the forward kind of forecasted data that these Wall Street sell side analysts have put together. And again, you know, you can chart any of this data very easily by just clicking on the rows in the table below. Next, we have transcripts. So we have the earnings transcripts as well as the conference transcripts. So if you just click on this link here, it'll pull in the transcript and you can read you know, the entire transcript for the discussion that took place on that specific date. Then we have company filings. So we have just all of the SEC filings here. We have the investor presentations as well. Um, actually on filings, the other helpful thing here again is we actually have global filings. So for example, if we looked at Nintendo, we actually have all the Japanese and English filings that Nintendo puts out. So just another very powerful tool on the ticker terminal. Moving over to the final tab, the ownership tab here. Here you can see all the investors that own Google in their portfolio. You can actually filter by the different investor type. So for example, if you wanna look at the hedge funds that own Google, you can easily look at that here. So that's another kind of very helpful tool here. And you can just click on this arrow to look at the next kind of page. But again, these are the hedge funds that own uh, Google stock. Great, so that's kind of the main features on the ticker terminal. If you go to the top right-hand corner here, we also have account settings. So here we have a few different options that you can also apply to your account. So one pretty cool tool here is hide all ticker share prices, business owner mode. So if you click this, it'll actually hide all of the stock prices um, on the ticker terminal. So if you want to do your research on the stock without getting influenced by the stock price currently, you can activate this business owner mode do your you know, research, and then you can look at the actual stock price after you've done the research. So that's a pretty helpful tool on the uh, ticker terminal. Um, you can also look at it in dark mode, and you can actually look at it in other languages as well. So for example, you can view the ticker terminal in Japanese. So there's a few different options here that you can explore as well. And so that's pretty much it. That is the overview of the ticker terminal. If you have any questions, you know, as always, please feel free to reach out to us at support at ticker.com with any feedback or questions.